I was known to be the quiet girl basically my entire life. If I'm an introvert and I started a YouTube channel and it's going well, you can totally do it too. Oh, by the way, this video is not just for people who want to start a YouTube channel. It's also for people who want to show up more on social media. Basically, when you're running any kind of business, most of the time you kind of do need a, there's like a social media component. So this is also for everybody here who is starting a business and they want to really put themselves out there and they're an introvert and maybe they're scared, but they still want to do it. So actually, I think a lot of the time you saying you are an introvert, that is just an excuse. That is not the real reason why you are not starting a YouTube channel or you're not so showing up on social media. If you dig a little bit deeper, you will come to realize that the reason you are hesitant about starting a YouTube channel, it's not actually that you're an introvert. It might actually be that you think people will judge you or they might not find your content valuable or you think like your previous acquaintances will look at your videos and not like you or they'll be like what is Dina doing like she's starting a YouTube channel or maybe you think that people will think you're cringy or boring and I want to let you know like even for extroverts talking in front of the camera is not a natural thing like if you go look at an extrovert's YouTube channel and go back and look at their first video you'll see that it's kind of most of the time it's gonna be like a bit unnatural I definitely had to get used to it when I first started my channel you can go watch my first video oh my god it's super duper cringy but it takes time and practice and now I'm like pretty comfortable in front of the camera I'm like used to it and if you really think about it for introverts starting a YouTube channel is actually like a really great thing because you don't need to be around people you are most of the time gonna be in your own room filming by yourself so you're still alone you're just alone with your camera you don't need to respond to people you don't need to have conversations with people you don't other people are not looking at you you can plan the video you can trim out parts that are awkward so like isn't that the introvert's dream? Like you're alone doing this thing. Did you know that you can be quiet but still engaging? It's something called quiet confidence and this is something that I first heard about when I used the Headspace app when I was learning how to meditate and they would always talk about having a quiet confidence. Like you don't need to you don't need to say anything. You're just there and you have this quiet confidence and your energy is like you still have energy but it's like this quiet energy and I've been trying to practice that because for like the longest time in my life I was super duper self-conscious and not confident at all right now I am I would say I'm like so much better like I am confident in general as person but confidence for me was a huge struggle growing up so when I started meditating it was about three or three years ago three or four years ago I, like I was confident but I could still improve my confidence so when I learned about having this concept of quiet confidence it really helped me understand that in order for you to be confident you don't have to be super duper loud or so energetic because confidence isn't about the volume of your voice or how much you are moving your body or something it's about the energy that you give off and this energy that you are a confident person there's also a really good book that i read years and years ago it's called quiet by susan kane and it's a really really good book for introverts on understanding like where you can shine and how you can basically operate in this world the next thing i want you to know is that it is totally okay to stumble on your words it's totally normal and i want to show you like usually when i film i am not saying the my I, the whole thing like all at once right like obviously there are trims and in between the trims I'm like looking at my notes and I'm thinking and let me tell you a quick tip when you are thinking or when you are looking at your notes freeze your hands and freeze your face because when you trim you want to be in the same position that you were like at the at the end of the trim and the, at the beginning of the next trim so that's why usually when I'm thinking that I'm so that's so that's why usually when I'm thinking, I'm going to pause in between and just like freeze my hands and my face positioning like this, literally like this. See? Okay. And I would like usually, <laughs> and I would usually cut these parts out, but I wanted to show you like me freezing. Oh, also, if you're nervous about speaking in front of the camera, the majority of you watching this and if you want to start a YouTube channel or you want to show up more on social media, I know that the majority of you do not have any speech problems. No. 
notice how I freezed my hands right here. <laughs> I'm gonna continue, okay. So I actually, so I actually have a friend and he has a bit of a stutter and for his whole life speaking was difficult, but he actually started a YouTube channel eight months ago. His name is Hudson Rennie. He makes videos on topics uh, a little bit similar to mine, but more about how to make money with writing on Medium and on Newsbreak. And there's also some personal development topics. If he, if, so if he can start a YouTube channel and he has, so if he can start a YouTube channel and he has a stutter, so can you. Honestly, it's just like all excuses. We all have some problem or whatever, or we're, we're all self-conscious of something. Like for me, I think I was, uh, if you watch my videos before, you know that I have been really self-conscious about my appearance, like my entire life like my face, like the, like, I don't like my nose. For a really long time, I didn't like my single eyelids. So that's why I never really wanted to start a YouTube channel. <laughs> but like, here I am starting a YouTube channel. I truly believe that I have something to share with the world and I'm not gonna let my insecurities or the things that I am self-conscious about hold me back from doing that and helping people and knowing that there are a lot of people who if they watch my content or if they hear what I have to say, their lives will really be improved. Okay, my next tip for you is to get good audio when you start your YouTube channel so you don't need to shout. If you are starting out with your phone, like a really easy thing to do is just get a lav mic from Amazon. I'll link some below. And right now I am using a lav mic and there's a lot of different audio setups. Like on my camera, it is a Rode Video Micro. This is my backup audio just in case my lav mic doesn't work. But right now my lav mic, the quality from the lav mic is better than the quality from the Rode Video Micro because the Rode Video Micro is a bit far. If I were closer, then the Rode Video Micro quality would be better, but I'm like a little bit far away. So that's why the lav mic is better. Yeah, if you look at my like first couple of videos, I'm talking pretty loudly and it's because I didn't have any audio at all. So I would be shouting a little bit, not, not super shouting, but like talking really loudly because I thought that like, I wanna make sure that people hear me. That's why I need to talk louder. So I have to like raise my voice a little bit. With market research, I would always suggest going to Google. You can type in. My next step for you is to write a video outline so you know kind of what you are going to say. A couple of weeks ago, I actually did make a start your YouTube checklist that comes with a video outline template. So if you wanna get that, go to the link in my description and you can get access to this Google Doc. For those of you who wanna start an educational channel like mine, so not an entertainment channel, but an educational channel where you teach people something, when you start your channel, I really want you to focus on the content and not so much on how you are presenting the content. Because when people click into your video and you're, it's like an educational video, people are there to learn something. It's about the actual value you provide and not about how your personality is and how funny you are or how entertaining. Like those are for entertainment channels, right? But if you're starting an educational channel, I really want you to focus on delivering the value in the most clear and concise way that you can. And obviously you can work on the personality part and being funny and entertaining part later on. Like your personality will shine through the camera with practice, but at the beginning, really focus on the value of the content you provide. And this way there's a lot less pressure on how you are appearing in front of the camera because people are here to learn from you and not because you're entertainment. <laughs> I want you to think about the kinds of YouTube channels you like, because there's a style of YouTube channel for everybody. And and personally for me, I like watching the YouTubers who are more chill and relaxed. And I don't like those videos where there's so much text and stuff popping up on the screen and like super duper flashy. I don't like those at all. I like the more laid back, chill vibe kind of videos. And that's also what I am trying to do for my own videos. Like I personally like those kinds of videos. So that's, and I think like, because I like those kinds of videos, I'm gonna attract
attract people who also like those kinds of videos too. So I, that's why I try to make those kinds of videos. And the most important thing I want you to remember at the end of the day is why you are starting a YouTube channel in the first place. How many people can you help if you put out a video? And how many people are you not helping because you are scared of starting this YouTube channel or showing up on social media because you are an introvert? And oh my gosh, introverts can't start YouTube channels because they're just not engaging or like they're too quiet. I'm just kidding. I wrote a vision statement for my business years ago and this is the reason why I do everything that I do in my business and how I can, even if I feel scared or nervous about doing something, I'm still going to do it. Because what I really want to do is I want to inspire people to pursue their dreams confidently because I know that when they do that, they are going to be more happy and they are going to make the world a better place. So I want you to remember your why. Why are you starting this YouTube channel? Right now, if you feel like you're lacking in the confidence department, I do have a video about how to build confidence. And in that video, I share completely different tips than what I shared in this video. So watch this video next. Even though I'm recording all alone, I still get a little bit drained after recording YouTube videos because it takes like a lot of my energy. I need to breathe like this every time before the video and after the video.